This is a story about a guy named Mel. He's a lot like you and me, except he lives in a place called Hollywood, which isn't even really there. He's married, but he fools around a lot. And he's got an incompetent nephew who makes him crazy a lot. And a psychiatrist who's trying to make him sane, but that isn't really happening a lot. He's got a soon-to-be ex-wife who'd like to see him dead, and that might actually happen. He runs a movie studio called Hopeless. His life is a mess, and you should be glad you're not him. Hi, Peggy. How are you doing, sweetie? I'm okay. Good, good. What's up? We're going to have to throw you a party to announce death of a saleswoman because no one is aware it's even in production. What is, what's it about? <laughs> You remember Death of a Salesman. What's the hook? Well, we tell it from the woman's point of view. She works at um, uh, Bloomingdale's. She has carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, Biff and Happy are drug dealers. And the husband has some sort of deformity, something with his feet. I don't remember. Could you hang on a second? Hello? This is Gil Hill. Yeah. I have another idea yeah. about a modern Johnny Appleseed. Ah. Oh, well, he's, his mission is to plant pear trees instead of apple trees. Yeah. He just, he, he wants to make the city prettier. You know? He likes the way the pear trees look. But you, yeah. hold, hold, hold on one minute, I gotta take this. I'm back. We can do a special tribute to Arthur Miller at the party. Ah. We will dress the waitresses to look like Marilyn Monroe. And that they'll all is have, fabulous. they'll all have the blonde wig and the white dress with the pleats, and we'll have the, fans. The fans blowing fans. the dress up. You exactly. are a genius. Exactly, yes. You'll yes, see yes. You'll see the legs. You'll see the legs. Could you hold on one second? All right, I don't. I don't want you to. I want you to. Don't want you to think I don't like the idea. It's just that I don't understand the idea. It's, it's John, he wants to plant pears in the city, right? Yeah. And he he takes a bag of seeds, and um, there's lots of interesting situations where he's planting so, yeah. trees where he's not supposed to. Ooh, and, uh, Johnny Peach Pit. Pear seed. Peach pit's better. Peach pit. You got two. You got two peas. And it might as well be peaches instead of pears. I mean, I'm just blue skying here. Okay? Okay. All right, I'm back. And we're going to decorate each table to look like one of his plays. Oh, great, great, we're going to have a crucible yeah. table. We're going to make everyone put on witch's hats. Oh, that's great. That's great. Okay, or we'll like the a... dress like the devil. Exactly. Yeah, that's you absolutely devil. great. And then we can have people dress as salespeople. Oh, for the right? death of a saleswoman? And what about that, yeah. other thing, that other thing he wrote? All my sons? Yeah, I don't know that one. Well, we can have everyone bring their sons. Perfect. It's like a picnic. You know, people loved it. Thank you, baby. Okay, darling. Dr. Stein. Yes. May I have a word with you, please? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm with a patient now. I need wait, to... Hello, how wait, are you, ma'am? I need it, to... No, 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 no. I, this is very important. I, I know. I, hang on I for need, one second. I, need, I, think, I think I have you on the schedule for, for later today. Yes, I won't so, be able to make it, but that's not the point. Okay, I need if, to talk you, to you now. Okay, hang on I need on to talk one, to you now about a book okay, called no, Shrink Wrapped. Sarah, if you could just um, uh, excuse us for one second. This is obviously some kind of... Or at least don't, don't listen. According to this book, Mel Paraffin is uh, a mother-fixated... Uh, desperate for attention and approval, pathetic loser. Now, I figured out who Mel Paraffin was pretty quick. I think the rest of this town is going to, too. Hey, Mel, th this is entirely inappropriate. You don't walk into my office unannounced. You know what? You don't do... Unexpected. You don't, you don't violate your doctor-patient privilege by publishing stories about what I told you when I was at camp. Mel, I think we need to continue that this. That book will never see the light of day. Well, I think you're a little... I can I stop it, and I'm going to stop The book is already out for auction, so... This oh, oh, okay. That's the one thing I have. I have some greenbacks I can spend on some piece of shit book by some shrink nobody. I'm going to buy this book, and I'm going to put it on a shelf so high no one will ever touch it, let alone make a movie out of it. How do you like that? I, 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 I as much as I resent this intrusion, I am happy that you finally took the time and the trouble to come in and have a face-to-face -face, uh, session with me. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Next time, schedule it. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I think I can maybe make Thursday, okay? Thursday at what time? Mm, make it five. Okay. Hi. Oh, Skip. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how you doing? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, you I'm went good. to the Clark Bar, too, so <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what I go for. Oh. I like the nuts. Yeah, oh, the, I love nuts. I, I know you do. Yeah, Skip, what are you doing here? <laughs> um, well, I had a meeting um, with some people here on the lot. I was over in the Fred Savage building, and 
someone said, you know, they're shooting saleswoman here. And I went, what? Because <laughs> so, I didn't. Um, so, you know, I thought I'd come by. Oh. You know, it is my. Um, it's really going along great. I called you a couple times. Oh, gosh. And, you did? Uh, I think it was actually a, a, like four or five times. But anyway, I just think it's odd, you know, that you would start start shooting. Oh, wait a minute. And here it is, my script, and nobody. Skip, did no called. one call you? No, no one c- gave me nothing. <sighs> That is so rude. Yeah, I guess that's the business I can't here. believe no one called you. This is a book called Shrink Wrapped. Do we want to start the bidding? Yes, we do, says someone. 25. 25,000. We can do better than that. We Hello? Can do better than that. Hi. Do I hear? Hi. 30. Alan. Hey, um, it's me. I just what? thought of something so great. I just... I, I, I had to call you right away. Go. A serial killer movie, but wait. It uh-huh. takes place in Little Sweden. In New York. $50,000. $50,000. That's and just this guy doesn't look anything at Come on. all like what you would expect a serial killer. Look like. I love that. Six yeah. short blonde hair Six and he wears a turtle. Yeah. If we could come up with a with a young Richard Chamberlain, yeah, that'd be the way to go. Seventy-five thousand dollars. Seventy-five thousand. Thank you, Mel Wax. Yeah, go ahead. Next. I had a wild child story uh-huh. raised in the Bronx um, by giant sewer rats. Interesting. One hundred thousand. You know, I, I think... think it's actually very timely right now. What with you know the sewer problems, the rat problems, yeah. and you know. All the kids being wild today. One hundred fifty thousand dollars. One hundred fifty thousand dollars going once, going twice, going three times, sold to Mel Wax. Now, uh, Skip, I just want you to know, you know, the the uh, the script has had a little change. Um, and, you know, I hope you don't mind. You you don't. Oh shit, no, uh, I, I understand the process, <laughs> but the theme would would still be intact. Uh, I am assuming. Yeah. Uh, um, which theme is that? Roll sound. Uh, roll sound. So who is directing, by the way? Uh, you know that sitcom, Yes, Dear? Hmm. Yeah, he he played the neighbor on that show for a couple of years. He's just a doll. And action. Hi, this is Sandy. Leave a message and I'll call you back. If this is Mel, please don't leave a message. I'm not interested in anything you have to say. Have a great day. It's Mel. Uh, Look, I've been doing some thinking. Some soul searching. Yes, I still have one back in there somewhere. And, uh... Well, I now know what it's like to be on the other side of betrayal and mistrust, and yeah, it feels... It's not... I don't like it. Uh, oh, hold, hold on. Hello? Mel, Mel! Nora? Have you heard about this about this book called Shrink Wrapped? Uh, yeah. Did you buy it? I hear it's... I hear it's amazing! Um, where did you hear this? The guy who cuts my hair yeah. also cuts the hair of the shrink. Interesting. Interesting. I heard it was... Yeah. Um, you know, it's a... It's a it... I mean, I think if... I mean, it sounds exactly like something that I bet we could involve at least another studio I know of in this. If you... Really? ...worrying about putting up too much money. Nora? Yeah? Yeah. Um... <laughs> It's funny. I mean, I, I'm yeah. being very pushy here because... No, 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 no. I don't think so. Uh, I, I, please. I mean, this, uh, you know, how long have I been trying uh, to get into the, the Nora Ephron business? I wasn't... Have you read it? I know this one backwards and forwards, but uh, right now it's in the hands of the lawyers. I, 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 I listen, uh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. Okay, okay. I love you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Uh, Dr. Stein's office. Hi, Dr. Stein, it's Mel. I'm very conflicted about this shrink-wrapped thing. You know, I mean, you got a minute? For you? Yeah. Two minutes. I, of course, plan A was to buy the property and shelve it and just never think about it again. Even before you say anything else, I was so impressed with how bold and, and decisive you were about oh, it. Well, thank you. you. Thank you. Took you. Such, yeah. you, took the, you took strong steps to preserve your dignity. Uh, here's the thing, though. Uh, Nora Ephron wants to write and direct it. Can you hold on one second? Mm-hmm. Mama! Mama Sita! I'm a star! I must. I gotta sing something. I'm a shooting star. I'm a 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 star. I'
Honey? Oh, I'm, I live alone. I forgot. Woo! I am so proud of you for dealing with this in such a mature, honest, and yes, emotional way. Uh, and, and I think Nora Ephron's interest is also exciting. Yeah. He, here, here's the thing, Mel, is that yeah. we need to take a look at the other side of this coin. There's another side? By sharing your story with me. That was, that was liberating. But by sharing it with the world, it could be so unbelievably... What's the word I'm looking for? Embarrassing? No, no. It could be so liberating. I don't, yeah, well, I hope it's liberating, no, but you know I... what I'm saying? I'm saying I know. There, there's something... About publicly admitting your problems, really. <sighs> yeah, yeah. There's a reason there are millions of people in AA. Well, because there are millions of drunks. Granted, but yeah. they found a way, they found a way out. But I'm, see, I'm not in AA. This is your own personal AA. Ah. This is an AA meeting that consists of you, Nora Ephron, and uh, 30 or 40 million members of the audience. I don't know. This is it's kind of exciting. I, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not as conflicted anymore. I'm beginning to see the upside in going very public, and, and it could I just hurt. Don't want you to I don't want you to feel like I'm manipulating you, because that that is... Not what good a good therapist does. Um, listen, I'm, 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 I'm exercising free will here. I mean, this could really be a great healing thing for me. I mean, come on, Nora Ephron. What am I going to say? No. Attention must be paid. Attention must be paid. And I'll get paid a lot of attention if I buy these shoes. <laughs> God, nice, bingo. Okay, we're gonna go with Kenneth Cole. All right, back to one people. It's funny, uh, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but 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 see. Uh, shh, shh, shh. Let's go back here. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know they were. Uh, what was that? It's death of a saleswoman, but now yes. we've just made it more of a female buddy comedy, and um, I thought you know we'd add in a little monkey. That, wait, a monkey? <laughs> I'm sorry. How is there a monkey? Biff is a monkey, Biff and, is a and monkey? trust me, it works. Yes. I'm afraid to ask who Happy is. Well, what a gecko? No, no, no. We 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 stayed very normal with Happy, and we made him a golden retriever. And oh, you know what? Jesus. It works. You know, this is really disappointing. This is so fucking disappointing. You're mad at me. Uh, yes, I am. I'm very angry. You take this this piece that I poured my heart into and you oh, turn you it into a so piece of shit with a monkey. Angry. A fucking monkey. I got a Biff monkey in here. This is not what I wrote. I want you to tell me why you're so angry. Because I had this piece. Yeah, that... yeah, you had this piece, yeah. Yeah, and I, and I had worked on that piece for years, mostly by myself, oh, God, you know? That sounds lonely. That kind of life, you know, working on that piece yourself. Well, well, what else? Well, the piece. Well, it started as a short story, but then you know, it got it got it got longer. Yeah, like like into a short subject. Well, I'd like to think it got even longer than that. I loved making that happen for you. Well, now I see that that my piece was just thrust into production. Oh yeah, well I thrusted oh, yeah, it. Yeah, you did. I thrusted it. Yeah. It's too late to pull out now. Yes, it it's is. It's going. Yes, it is. Yes, it's oh. definitely going. Oh. See, Ow. See, I thought, I thought maybe it, it might go... Around. Oh, it might go into turnaround. Maybe. Yeah. What? Turn around. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, it's, yeah. a, it's a done deal, right? Uh, yeah. The ink is almost oh. dry on this one. Oh, no. No, no, not yet. It's not. Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's bring in the monkey. <laughs> oh, oh, my. God. God. I don't know if it's the booze or if it's the lighting, but Mill, you look lovely. Thank you. I hope I didn't slip you a roofie without thinking about it. No. <laughs> I just want to say that making the decision to green light shrink wrapped was a big one. And I owe it all to you because you are my Jiminy Cricket. I don't even know what to say at this point. This is just, for me, such a thrill. Hi, hi Mel. Hello, um, Sam. I, I'm just on my way to the bathroom, and yeah. I just stopped by to say hi. I'm having... This is Dr. Stein. Uh, this is Sam. Dr. Spitz. Stein? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How, how, yeah. How special. Yeah. How Sam, is there something we can do for you real quick? Because uh, we're just having a little kind of a, a celebratory uh, dinner here. Yeah. That looks delicious. Could I have a bite of that shrimp over there? Is there Dr. something we Stein? can do for you, um, Sam? 
Well, we just got the word that Universal has already greenlit a movie that is called Loco in the Cabeza, and it's written by that, you know, that therapist who treats, I think, George Lopez and Paul Rodriguez and Jimmy Smith. Oh, man, and, this is bad. I'm not sure J-Lo, it's possible. This I'm not is bad. Competing projects, it cancels us out completely. Yep. They're going to get it, get it out in five minutes. We're screwed. Yeah, but, but, but... Okay, all right, all right. Well, then that's a wrap. I don't, I don't think it's <laughs> that's a That's it, problem. that's it, that's a wrap. But that, that's it? Oh, shit. Forgot to call Sandy back. Uh, yeah, Todd, uh, Ixnay on the Artini maze, okay? Hello? Honey? Hi, I know you're there. Uh, <laughs> I, look, I know it's been a while and I should have called earlier, but I'm, 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 I'm going along with your suggestion, and, well, I apologize for... for, I, for... I want the studio. What? I want the studio. What? Avalog, whatever you have in development, your office, everything. No, 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 honey, honey, I'm going along with your deal. This was your idea. You know, just just give me a chance to say how sorry I am. No, too late. About, too late. Sandy. Uh, no, S Hopeless Studios this, is mine. And I'll no, no, honey, listen, listen, listen. I'm sorry I banged our neighbor. Too late. I'm sorry I banged Tracy. Too late. I, I, I'm sorry I banged that actress. The, um, what, what's her name? Teal too or something. Late. Too late. No, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry I banged your sister. I mean, my assistant. My sister? I'm my, no, the assistant. You banged my sister? Honey, look, I'm sorry about, uh, my uh, no, my assistant. Sister? What was her name, the little Chinese girl? I'm being a wedge through a family now. Uh, no, look, I gotta I got take this call. I gotta take this call. We'll finish this later. Puck Trust.